All right, we're back. I'm gonna play a little bit more Death Trash. That was kind of a cool little side quest. Not really what you, not really what I was expecting from this game. It had elements of what you might expect from this game, but kind of get some more into the robot stuff. Click for the door. Now, is that guy going to start shooting up these robots here? Is having them still alive going to be a problem? Let's find out. No, you're fine. Actually, that guy said he was taking a rest, so... Current entrance guard response level set to... Level 0, peaceful. Le set to level 1, detection through weapon scan. We're just gonna leave them the way they are. Before we leave, we gotta check out this note. Job concerns. <clears throat> Why the fuck would this place need a head officer? The guys are working on their own. I don't even know what their work is about. But no, Cafier wants to have somebody here. Fill the seat in their absence. At least the pay as well. It would be better if I could actually leave and go to a place where I can spend that money. Being indoors all the time is starting to impact my vision. My head hurts all the time. I shouted at one of those damn metal things to go and get me something to better my eyes. I don't think he understood, but shouting is fun. Might try that again. Ah, interesting. Is that why the robots stole that guy's eyes? Interesting. So I don't think that... That nameless blind dude... I don't think he was the officer. I think the officer, or whoever this person is, I'm assuming they're the head officer, told the robots to get him something to better his eyes, and they interpret that as steal someone else's eyes. I'm assuming that's what's happened. Well, let's memorize. Why not? Okay, so... That... wait. We never did really explore over here. Can I... yeah, I can act that. Response level of nearby droids outside combat may now be changed. Current response level is level 1. Set to level 0. Peaceful. Missing credentials accessed in... Oh, I just hacked it, didn't I? That's... Probably not intended, but let's save this before we do anything else here. Because last time I was here, I got stuck. It does seem like there are a lot of these old, whatever you want to call them, like installations, bunkers that seem to have a lot of rocks that are almost growing through them. At one point, we were looking at that one computer and it said that stalagmites had gone through the computer. So I wonder if there's... I wonder if that means something. Oh, time to run. Oh! Hey! Can I just kill these? If they're set to peaceful? Don't shoot me. There we go. Yeah, we could just kill them. If they're set to peaceful, they can't fight back. That's actually kind of awesome. Oh, they're running away from me. Yeah, I'll get you cornered. Oh. There you go. You've reached level. Oh, nice. These guys are just free experience at this point. Nice. Free experience, three re free resources. Excellent. So if I wanted to, I could fully hack something. Let us... Yeah, we're just gonna go all in in Cybertech. I'm not gonna bother with the occultism. So I paid money for that implant for the... whatever it was called, the Legion thing, but... Maybe that's something we can try the next on our next playthrough in this game. I can do more of an occultism build. When this game comes out of... I'm not sure if I'll do it when this game is out of early access, or if there's like 
a major content update. Then I'll just try start starting a new campaign, maybe. Because really, with this campaign, I'm only really... I don't know, six or seven hours in. It's not like I'm super deep in the game yet. And I almost don't want to get too deep in it. I don't want to just con like content farm this game. I want to get like the full experience once it's out of early access. Instead of like just having, you know, an already strong understanding of how the story is and everything like that. Hmm. I'm not sure what to spend my skill points on. I could go on high tech. Or I could just keep those skill points handy for whenever I need them. Nova, what's going on? Why are you crying? She doesn't know. She's just in a whiny mood. She's like that. It's not bad though. I've heard cats that are a lot more annoying to listen to. Nova's just letting you know she's there. Aren't you? You went up here? You went up here? No. Sometimes she wants up in my lap, and sometimes she's a little too restless for it. I think she might be a little restless right now. She got a little bit of more, a little bit of camera time earlier on in the stream. Rainer's over on the bed. Oh. Yeah, she's running around. She's restless. Now, is there anything here that's worth looking at? I guess we've fully explored this area. There's a couple of those NPC strangers here. I don't think they really have anything useful to tell us. I wonder where I left my loop. The flesh provides. I don't trust the machines. I never get tired of eating meat. The sun's always there. I suppose you can't. You probably can't hear Nova meowing in the background. So I've got my compressor on. You might not be able to hear background noise unless I'm talking at the same time. Which is good. That's working as intended. Alright, so we checked out the mine. Let's do a proper save. No more, like, not a quick save, but an actual, for real save. Do the save slots tell you how long you've been playing? No. They do not. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Well, this game does have local co-op, too. I have looked at that. That'd be cool to try out. I mean, I'm not going to be able to try it normally, but there are there are third-party apps and third-party services that let you do local co-op online, which I might be able to try out at some point. The one in particular I'm thinking of, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like, it's basically like remote desktop for controls, for, for gaming, specifically. What's down here? Anything we can find? Oh, there's something. Anomaly. Okay, so... Right a corner. We cannot escape. Are those friends? Yeah, they might be friends. Where's a bottle of schnapps when you need it? Hey, brother. The flesh provides. Hey, don't talk to me. Okay. That's quite a rock. It looks like a big boulder that the flesh has grown around. Let's see. Is there anything down here we need to kill? You know, hence the death part of the death trash.
Okay. Nothing so far. Hmm. The little tents. Oh. Okay. That's all of them right there. I don't really want to deal with all of them like that. So let us travel down to see if there's a way out. I'd rather just avoid the fight if I can. There we go. Here's a way out. I'm gonna have a quick look around. See if there's anything I can scavenge before I move on. So if I had to guess, it looks like all of the enemies are in one spot on this map. really isn't much crash. Okay. I'm just gonna leave. There's like six enemies all in small group. Don't really feel like dealing with that. I would probably get killed. It's down here. I bet there's a thing. Even if it's just trash. Something to acknowledge the fact that you traveled to this... Yeah, there you go. Something to acknowledge the fact you traveled to this spot you didn't have to. Not even a real reward, it's just acknowledgement, which is kind of a reward. At this point, I'll take it. Oh, here we go. Encounter. Alright, there's a few enemies here. Four? Is it just four? It might be just four. I can easily stealth past. I'm not going to. Not this time, at least. to dodge roll their shots when they have so many. Alright. That took a lot of my health. That could have gone a lot better. And they have no ammo that is useful for me. Man, that encounter was not worth it. I should have just snuck past. Yeah, you know what? Quick load. I know. I know it's cheating. I want to see what else there is to explore, though. Without losing most of my health. But yeah, not worth it to kill those dudes. So I sneak away. What is down here? Oh, I bet that's an anomaly. Alright, let's see what we got. This time. I already start out stealthed. I'm assuming that's because I left the last per the previous area stealthed. There's a body. Okay. We'll just scavenge their corpses. Is that actually it? Did they spawn in and get killed by something else? Oh, I heard a monster. There we go. We got... There's a few monsters up here. I don't think I want to interact with these. Oh, okay. They're dividing up. It's 
recharge. Now, if I'm in the vision cone of more than one enemy at the same time, will I get revealed faster? That's a question I would like to have answered. And we might be able to answer that. Assuming these are on a patrol route. Hi, Rainer. How you doing? Let me, move, let me move this stuff so you can come over for a visit. Oh, you just want to get behind the monitor. That's okay, too. It's looking for a bug. No, that's not a bug. That's a hole in the wall. Can I move over here? Ooh, okay. Ooh, these guys are tough. Man. With the backstab, it still took like five swings to just take out that one group. I wonder if that's because I was swinging at multiple enemies at the same time. That's possible. You could divide up your damage if you hit more than one enemy in the same swing. I've heard of some games working like that, but not an action game like this. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else that's worth fighting them over up here. Crash. Okay, yeah. Nothing up here is worth it. Let's just avoid this and encounter it altogether. Maybe the enemies are just getting tougher in these areas. That's possible. Oh, and there is, I'm guessing, trash. Oh, adventure. Alright, new region unlocked. I bet that's a thing. Let's go see what that thing is. Oh, that's a thing too. And that's closer, so let's check it out. It's a question mark. Alright, so let's see what happens. What do we got? Butcher's Den. Is that friendly? That is not a friendly. Can we do a quick backstab on these two? He has, like, a claw weapon. Oh, man. <laughs> that was an interesting looking weapon, though. That was, like, either a claw or a fist type weapon. I kind of want to see more of that. Except, you know, in my own hands. Let's do a quick stamina recharge. Oh, we're about to be found. There we go. Ooh. Excuse me. Okay, they're not close enough together. I'll just do the backstab on this one. Ooh, ooh. Okay. That is very quick. Oh, now that's a club, isn't it? Oof. Does maybe it's not a club. Okay, I need to kill that dude to find out what type of weapon he's using. Cause it it looked like it might be a club. The way he's holding it kind of implies that it's not. Okay, let's not get discovered. Okay. Regenerate stamina. Come on, die. Oof. Ooh, I'm running out of stamina. Okay, there we go. Oof. Wow. He just tore off. Either he tore off my head or my mask fell off. 
It really looked like he just ripped off my head, though. Okay. Let's try this one more time. If this doesn't work this way, then I'm gonna have to change up my strategy. Regenerate stamina. Let's try to get a little closer together. No. Give it one more try. No, no. Okay. I'm hoping that I can hit them both with a backstab at the same time. Maybe I should hit this guy with the backstab. He seems to be more of a threat than the energy weapon lady. Ooh. Maybe not. Oof. Okay. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna circle around those enemies. I still want to kill that dude and find out what kind of, that, what kind of weapon he's using. Just gonna... Oh, okay, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Is, am I gonna be able to use that the way I want to? I don't think I will. Is this a friendly? It is a friendly. Okay, cool. Hey, you're here for st the stakes too. Stakes? Question mark? You don't know about them? We call them butcher's cut. Stakes so good they make your brain melt. And they make you see things. See visions. The truth. So you're here for the stakes? The stakes show you the truth. Yeah, you eat one, and when you fall asleep you start seeing reality as it is. But it's difficult to get a hold of one, with all these god hunters around. <laughs> so you're here for the stakes? God hunters? <laughs> Those red guys. They want to get rid of everyone. Us, the titans. I bet they even have it in for the machines. So you're here for the stakes? <laughs> yes. Great, here's the deal for you. I tell you how to get some of that meat the easy way, you bring me a piece of it. Alright, what's the plan? I want you to sneak into the cellar and get me a piece of the butcher's cut. There's gotta be some of it somewhere. I heard about a hidden entrance behind the house, among the rocks. Any questions? Secret entrance? Yes, I heard about this house has a cellar and there's a hidden path. Somewhere behind the house, among the rocks. No, I'll go searching now. Fine. Good luck. Alright. Okay, I appreciate this guy has mines leading to him. Though so enemies are less likely to just get want just to wander themselves towards him. No. I mean, if I wanted to, I could shoot out those mines and then lead an enemy to them. But I'm not going to do that. That'd be kind of a dick. An asshole thing to do. Alright, there is... I'm assuming that's one of the god hunters he's talking about. Ooh. It's not quite what I was planning to do, but I mean, hey, it, it did the job. Wait, am I not able to make inventory zero? Or can't, maybe that means I can make 10 more lockpicks. Wait. Did I not make the lockpick? Okay, there we go. Missing item lockpick. Wait, what? Why is... 
Is it not going into my inventory because I have too many things in my inventory? I have a feeling that is what's happening here. Did I drop? Okay, good. I was worried that the lockpicks just deleted themselves, but they just fell on the floor. Lockpicking success. Can't have enough of those. All right, we need to... Let's just eat the canned food. May as well, right? Orders. Protect the house. Don't let anybody enter. Once we succeed here, we are one step closer to true freedom. Fuck God and the rest. And please, don't mess around with the beds too much. <laughs> I'll just memorize that. I get the feeling that it wouldn't hurt anything if I memorized it. Anything here? Oh, I might as well eat some meat. There we go. Oh, of course. The Butcher's Diary. They don't want me to fuck... They don't want anyone fucking with the beds, because that's where the secret entrance is, probably. They keep coming and asking for more, but the flesh is only growing so fast. I don't know what to do. I told them it doesn't work how they think it does, but they keep on trying. Something about achieving full power. Idiots. When they look away, I'll run. I got my secret exit and hide out where they don't know about. Oh, I got my secret exit and hide out that they don't know about. Okay. Alright, so... There's a trap door hidden under the bed. Go down. Great. Great start. Locked. There's a lever on the other side, so... This is gonna be another one of those gauntlets. Ooh. Okay, so those are unfriendlies. They're wearing black coats too, not like the red coats the others are wearing up above. Fragment packaging material. Nice. Let us consume that knowledge and dismantle some of the stuff that we don't need. Shotgun, rifle, rifle. There, we got two of the good rifles now. Deconstruct that pistol. We'll keep the shotgun the way it is. We have the, an extra lockpick because we accidentally made two before we realized that our inventory was full. Okay. So there was another- oop. There's that dude. Nice. Cool. I am happy without out that outcome. Hammer. Let's just deconstruct that hammer right away. Prayer. Read. Kill the titans. Okay, this is their prayer, I guess. Kill the titans. Eat their flesh. Stop the machines. Turn off their god. Shoot those above you. Remove them from sight. Fuck them all and kill the rest. I have a spider on my wall. Hi, spider. It's harmless. I'm not worried about it. Alright, so... is dudes in here for me to kill. I'm gonna wait for this guy to turn around. Go. I need to get up this hallway without being detected. Maybe I'll save. No, there we go. The sun takes another. Nice 
nice, nice. That worked out pretty well. Killed them both with just one backstab. Just one well-timed backstab. That's what I was hoping for. We're going a little bit further. There's still more meat in, on the floor. Okay, we got our next target, victim. However you prefer to think of them. Wait for stamina, and then backstab. Hell yeah. Pump action shotgun. We got more notes. Wait, this pump action shotgun is that different than a regular shotgun? Did I even pick it up? Rifle? Okay, pump action shotgun. Minimum skill rifles, three. Interesting. So this is definitely a better right, shotgun. Damage is 16. Rate of fire is 0.5, the, the same. Scatters, 0 0.05, the same. Ammo shells, okay, so it's just straight up a better shotgun that requires more rifle skill. And fortunately, I have skill points to spend. Apply. And we'll just deconstruct this old shotgun. Pump action shotgun is new shotgun. New best shotgun. As for that, the text. Finally. The flesh is calling, and I have it. This last piece is mine. Mine. They argued that it's dangerous. They said I should give it away. They would destroy it. Make me feel good again. But they are wrong. Wait. They would destroy it. Make me feel good again. But they are wrong. I feel good. This is mine, and they will not get it. I will protect it. Okay. I'm mostly just memorizing everything at this point. Hmm. Okay, so, was that it? Was there a special piece of meat that I picked up? Oh, there is. Butcher's Cut quest item. Okay, cool. Since you've been looting, not really paying attention. So this is... This Butcher's Cut meat might be the last one of its kind. They made it sound like it was growing from somewhere, but... Wherever it's growing from... It's... This is what it was growing there. Possibly. And there's still another... Yeah. Did we ever find out how to get over there? I'm guessing not. Maybe we have to go upstairs. Maybe there's an alternate entrance from the surface here. I'll go up north. Just to see. Does seem to be functional, but I don't know its purpose. There. So he also said behind the house. So there must be another entrance back here. Quartz. Nice. This will come in handy. This bucket. Oh, okay. I feel like whenever I need to start rubbing against the geometry of the level, I should probably do a quick save first. Just in case... I get stuck like I did before. Hmm. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, there's one of these. Ooh, it failed. Oh, now it's aggroed. Interesting. I never actually had that fail on me yet. It's good to know that's what happens. It would suck if you were trying to do that in the middle of a combat situation. Trash. 
Good to have. No, he doesn't hurt, at least. Gotcha. Pistol. I'll take the pistol. Deconstruct it. Trash, brains, booze. What else we got here? More trash. There's something down here. Oh. More enemies. Let us deconstruct that pistol. Anything else here that needs to be deconstructed? Not really. We'll eat a little bit of meat. Just to top off our health. We have lots of bullets we really don't need. We have the shells, the rifle bullets, the gold. 17 energy cells. Let's try the pump action shotgun for a change, though. We just got that. We haven't tried it out yet, so... Okay, three enemies. At least. More than three enemies, it looks like. Oof, this is a... Tricky situation. Okay, we'll lead these guys away. Ooh, sickness. I've never had that happen before. Ooh, you're down. That is claws. That's what I thought it was. This isn't the same one I saw using it before. That uses Blade Master, so these are considered sharp weapons. Interesting. Or no, sorry. Well, I mean, they are considered sharp weapons, but I have Blade Master on the cleaver. Speed is very fast. Damage is f better than my cleaver. So it's just straight up a better weapon. It does more damage and attacks faster. There's no downsides. Cool, let's do that. Heck yeah. That's what I like to see. Alright, cleaver, you're redundant now. At least, let's try to put it into practice before we decide that. I'm not going to go and deconstruct my cleaver right away. Hey, hey fleshworm. Yeah, you can be my friend. We got a skull. Hell if I know where I... Hell if I know where it came from. Um, it's just a skull. Doesn't seem to have any purpose, really. Oh. Potential salvage meat. Oh, okay, so you can just kill it while it's in your inventory. If you want. I prefer the idea of using it. To do your bidding. Okay, and I will aim it over here. Fuck oh, no. That didn't take long. Well, that was kind of a waste. It doesn't really serve as much of a distraction if you're throwing it right in front of where you're standing. stuff. The enemies like to compliment themselves after killing you. It's excellent. I love that in this game. They're like, oh boy, free shit. Okay, so, I got my claws still. I didn't pick up the worm yet. Let's do that now. Oh, it failed. Man, what a waste. I mean, it was kind of a waste the first time, too. Alright. Whoa! Did I run out of stamina? Ooh. Okay. Ah, yeah, I was, I was kind of SOL for that one. 
I don't really get a whole lot out of killing them, but... I do get experience for them blowing up, don't I? I never actually checked that out. Alright, so my current experience is 421. Let's find out what it's like if I get these enemies blown up. Okay. And regen stamina. Ooh, there we go. Oh. Okay. That didn't blow up. Okay, no good. Probably heal. There we go. That's a decent heal. Ooh, we got orders, prayer, trash, mechanics, and more. Let's get everything. Orders, we read that already. Prayer, we read that already. Okay, nothing new. Is there anything else? No. Nope. You want to be our friend? Yes. Bullets, pistol, deconstruct. That's our only energy gun, so we will not deconstruct that. I am tempted to deconstruct the cleaver, but I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. That's a regular ass shotgun, we'll deconstruct that. It's a little annoying to have to de deconstruct items every once in a while, but that is still way better than letting your inventory get filled up and then having to decide which items to leave behind. Because then at least you're getting some- at least you're getting something out of those extra weapons and items you don't really care about, but you don't really want to let go of either. That's a way out. Let's save. I know there's a couple more enemies here. In fact, these are probably the enemies I started out with. Can I just kill you? Let's see if I can- no, these are not the same. Or at least this one isn't. Nice. Inventory's full. Rifle, we have more than one rifle. We might be reaching the point where I'm just going to leave items on the ground. Is that- okay, that's a rifle rifle. So let's deconstruct the rifle we've got already, so we can pick up the new rifle. And prayer. We read that already. We have to memorize things to be able to use them. Use the notes, I guess. I don't even know if I get normal notes from that type of note. So it doesn't look like it's made of paper. Oh, if you touch the enemy, then they realize that you're there. That's what I was doing wrong. are okay. You can swing and dodge, like, immediately one after the other, and just avoid all damage. Claws, claws are the way to go. Friggin' lockpick. I might even, I'm tempted to just drop the lockpick and be done with that. I have a second pair of claws. There's not, I don't think there's any advantage to having two pairs of claws. We'll deconstruct this one. like, found the best weapon ever. Now you have two of them. Might as well get rid of the other. What is this? Orders, again. Okay, we do get notes as a resource from that. Good to know.
Okay, there is... Oh, can we stack these? No, we cannot. Alright, so... We're carrying two flesh worms right now. Memorabilia. Can we just drink some booze? Oh, yeah. That makes us sick. No, I'm not trying to pick up the puke. What happens if we eat puke? Gulp. Oof. The screen is doing some interesting things right now. I mean, you can probably tell yourself, but... Okay, we got five experience from that. And we're also puking our guts out. Possibly because of the sickness meter. <laughs> Those are some chunky noises. Alright. Almost back to normal. Okay. I guess that's it. Alright, good to know. Flesh worm. Okay, so... If I aim... Flesh worm up here. Get right in between these two. There you go. Yeah, this, this lady with the hammer can't even attack. Oh. I say that, and then she immediately attacks me. I got a little cocky, but that's okay. We still, we still pretty much bodied her. Trash. Rifle, which we have more than one of, so we will construct one. I'm getting more and more tempted to simply just deconstruct the cleaver, which I will probably never use again. These two... No. Are they the original two? They might be. The original two. I had so much trouble fighting. Oof. Ouch. Okay, I need to heal. I do not want to get attacked. There's no attack. How are you doing, Rainer? You wanna? You wanna? Not sure? You just wanna pet? You're probably ready for your bedtime, aren't you? What time is it now? It is almost one o'clock. Probably play for just a little bit longer, and then we're gonna call it quits. Here's Rainer. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Yeah. Good boy, Rainer. <laughs> He's loving the camera. Alright, so we'll play for a little bit longer, but then we're gonna call it stop. Uh, quit. Since it's one o'clock in the morning for me. Alright. So. We have made some progress. I might even go back on what I said before. And I might end up playing a bit more of this. I haven't decided yet. We will see. We'll see how it goes. In the next stream. Nice. Hi. You having fun with that? That is prayer. I'm not gonna bother picking that up. Okay, come at me. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, 
trash. Ah. Uh. Inventory is full. Oh. Okay, let us. Backstab you now. Gotcha. I feel like maybe I'm doing myself a disservice by trying too hard to dodge around while fighting someone with energy weapons because they can shoot fast. Orders, prayer, crash mechanics, gold. Energy gun. Okay. Time to deconstruct some stuff. We have two rifles. We only need one. Actually, okay, no, that's a pump action shotgun. Deconstruct these claws. Wait. Okay, okay. I'm moving too fast through the menus. No, I do not want to do that. So, deconstruct one of these energy guns. I have this skull. Don't know what to do with it. Or at least... Maybe that has a purpose? It's the only skull I've found so far. Which is weird in a game where there is so much meat and organs and other stuff lying around. I kind, of, I kind of almost feel like I'm at the point where I can just deconstruct whatever and I'll probably find whatever I need. Like, since coming to this area, I found a whole bunch of claws, so now I know I can get more claws by coming through, coming here. I've been discovered. Oof. I dodged, but I did not dodge out of the way fast enough. Ooh, stamina. Stamina usage. Gotcha. Oof. I kind of spammed, spam clicked that last little bit there. Alright. Let's see. Gold. That's a hammer. We might as well deconstruct. Let's just kill the flesh worm. Eat the eat of the flesh worm, and a little bit of the organs too. All right, anything else down here? I feel like there's got to be at least one more enemy down here. No, maybe not. I thought maybe there was another enemy wandering around down. Oh, oh there we are. Last couple. I mean, maybe last couple. Quick save, just in case. Ah, now I kind of wish I didn't kill that flesh worm. That would have been handy as a distraction. Uh, we'll kill the one that's not using a hammer. The sun takes another. are definitely OP in the best way possible. They are the sort of thing that should be OP as well. Okay, that's pump action. That's energy gun. I'm gonna switch to the energy gun. I've got lots of energy cells. More energy cells than I have shotgun shells. Can't have enough of those. Memorabilia. Oh, okay, we got this earlier. On a previous save. So this might be it. For this area. Oh, actually. The one thing 
I was supposed to do is deliver this butcher's cut to the dude. I haven't gotten around to doing that, so let's do that now before we stop for the night. Now I wonder if... Oops. Oh, that works. That's fine. I almost forgot there was a mine there, so it's probably a good thing I did that. Alright. Let's talk to this dude. Don't be stupid. Oh, I can smell it. You have found the flesh, haven't you? Quick, give it to me. No, it's mine now. <laughs> How dare you? Give it to me. Sorry, I'll just keep it. You're gonna regret this. Oh, that's a failed quest? Okay. Sorry. Why does it count as failed? I feel like I succeeded. If I choose to keep it, that shouldn't count as a failure. Unless maybe there's like 20 health instantly. That's it? Okay. It made me sick. What if I go back to the bed? That was close. Will I be able to- oh. There's one that's still alive there. Will I be able to go to sleep with this? No, it's not gonna let me go to sleep on these beds. I haven't found a bed I'm allowed to go to sleep on yet, so... Because that's what he said, is that you have visions when you go to sleep. We'll do a quick load, just to see what the normal end of that quest line is supposed to be like. That's a good footstep sound, too. Alright, <laughs> there's a bunch of notes that I dropped. Alright. Sneak past this mine. I'm honestly surprised that we moved past the other mine the one time. Alright. You have found the flesh, haven't you? Quick, give it to me. Here, take it. Oh, you glorious piece of flesh. I am going to enjoy this. I'm just going to scarf it down right there. Here, take this as thanks. Lost, but just cut. Gained nano health and 10 experience. I thought we were splitting this. I thought I got to keep some of that. Praise the flesh. Okay, so that's it. That's the alternate ending for that quest line. Alright, good to know. Let's save that game. We'll, call, we'll leave it on save C. And that'll be it for Death Trash for the, for the time being. And I'm thinking what I might do is just play this off and on, off stream, every once in a while, just to see, it, just to check out updates once in a while. I'm not going to content farm, and I want to have like kind of a fresh experience when this does come out. In, out of early access. I like what I have so- like we- I like what we have so far. Some of the dialogue is kind of like needs a little bit more work. A lot of the dialogue I do like though. And the world building is great. There's lots of questions that haven't been answered yet. There might be some answers that are there to find and I just haven't found them yet but there's- I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see where this game goes. Like I said in a previous stream, there's definitely some Mother Horse Eyes type stuff going on. There is some, like, it's kind of like that type of cosmic horror that is less cosmic horror. It's less, um, it's less Lovecraft and more, like, what do you call it? It's, like, kind of less concerned with, like, like divine entities and ancient gods and stuff like that and more concerned with the reconciling the idea that you know people are basically meat bags of chemicals and that's how that's how we get through life and like personally i believe it's more there's more to it than that but 
from a scientific level, we don't understand what consciousness, what causes consciousness. And this game kind of, I feel like it's going to delve into that sort of idea where it's like, you have a bunch of people who are, they're trying to seek out happiness, they're trying to seek out survival. A lot of them are coming into conflict with each other. Kind of like in real life in a way. You know, you want to eat, you want to have a good healthy body, but at the same time you want to eat that McDonald's. And I feel like this game is going to kind of touch on that. Like with the cyber womb and the puke bar and different little elements that kind of contribute to that sort of idea. I feel like this game, the story of this game could go in some interesting directions. And the mechanics, it took the mechanics of the game, it took a little bit of, to get used to, but once you find the build that you like, which I have with the claws, which are almost definitely going to get nerfed at some point, they're too good. Unless the enemies I've just been fighting are just not strong enough. Maybe there's some stronger enemies that the claws wouldn't be as good against. I like the claws, though. Fucking stones. Always fucking stones everywhere. <laughs> yeah. And that's Death Trash. I give it a thumbs up. I'm not giving it a number rating, because I feel like that's unfair for an early access game. But I give it a thumbs up, as it is. We'll probably play for just a little bit longer, and then we're going to call it quits. Here's Rainer. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Yeah. Boy Rainer. <laughs> He's loving the camera. 